Yo, there it is. What up? What's up, everybody? Nice. Nice. Sick. Sick fucking intro, dude. <laughs> dude, fuck that up. That's a, that's a key component to our fucking our show. Need that Wild West up front. Gets people stoked, man. But the Jews are trying to take that away from us, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, actually, it was funny. We were pulling in here, and like I was, I was driving with with uh, my girlfriend, and we went through an intersection. I like, I earnestly was like, "Oh, watch that old Jew." We were, <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, literally, he was like bent over, walking in the thing. He didn't have the time, and I was like, not trying to be a dick. I was legitimately like, "Oh, careful, watch that old Jew over there." Did she hit him? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Damn. He, uh, yeah. That would have been a better he's, ending to that story. He's scary. He's scary, yeah, though. Dude. No, he's scary. And then she killed him. <laughs> no. He's his, scary. Coins, his coins yeah, flew yeah, everywhere yeah. like Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like smashing open a piggy bank. <laughs> 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 so you're yeah. saying Jews are like Mario bricks if you hit them? Yeah. yeah. Coins and <laughs> stuff comes out of them, dude. Mm-hmm. That's fair. That's what the Nazis were after. I mean, they they literally did that with their teeth. <laughs> they actually did. Fucking, it's not yeah. like that part's not a joke. Yeah, that's a horrific. Which thing. is seems like a very Jewy thing to do is take somebody's gold teeth gold when teeth? you genocide yeah. them. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah kind of hypocritical on the Nazis' part. I feel nobody. Yeah, nobody points the finger at the the Nazis. For I mean, say you want. I mean, Israel's not doing that in Gaza. They're not like, yeah, we're just trying to get their. I like that We're historical to save lens. money on lampshades. I like that historical lens. Like it was kind of Jewy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the it's real all like Jews you're all like were. ancient aliens. Like, well, yeah, it was kind of thinking about the Babylonians. They're a little Jewy. In this <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. Like ancient aliens is pretty much just like it's either Jews or aliens. We don't know who did it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking all these technological advances. I've never seen that show. It's about it's just the pyramids every episode. Well, it started. It's pretty heavy in Egypt. I would love it if they were doing stuff from like the 1800s, where they're like the Eiffel Tower was built by. <laughs> they, yo, <laughs> they went up to World War. You have no idea. Ancient aliens went to World War Two. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot they were of Hitler oh, wow. alien connection. They were dude. hooking up the I Nazis. I legitimately, b- I believe that show. Well, they were the Nazis were like into the occult and shit, which is yeah. the funniest thing about them. That they're like, we got to kill every Jew ever so we can find Santa. We're <laughs> 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 gonna find Santa's real. <laughs> He's real. These symbols prove it. <laughs> yeah, they, they, yeah. the aliens gave him, like, UFOs and shit. Mm-hmm. The Nazis yeah. had that. But then they didn't use them. So I think that's kind of debunked, right? Yeah. But they, they ended up using, like, children to we, defend we, Berlin. Yeah. But ancient aliens is like, no, they had fucking lasers. <laughs> it's like, no, they didn't. We took their technology, right? Yeah, we is that paperclip? Is that what that's called? Yeah, Operation Paperclip. Yeah, we took a bunch of Nazi, Nazi scientists. Technology, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, they were Fuck like, yeah. no, no, like Nazi party members, just German scientists. And then they realized that like all the best scientists were Nazi party members, and they're like, "Fuck it." Yeah, and they, well, it was just because yeah. it was the Soviets too. The Soviets yeah. were fucking. Get, they were scooping up all the Nazis. Yeah, and yeah. we and then, needed them too. We the needed Nazi to compete draft. with them. We needed to get to the moon. You seen October Sky, right? I did, yeah, when I was a young yeah, boy. Well, he like idolizes Werner von Braun, and Werner von Braun was just a Nazi. <laughs> he was like wow, a Nazi, man. and after the war, they're like, he's too good at rocket ships, so they brought him over, and then he's like, his pictures of him with Kennedy, he's like buried in Arlington. He's like a national hero. Happens a lot, dude. Yeah. I was reading about Roman Polanski today. Uh huh. What was he up guy. to? Roman Polanski's. <laughs> Roman Polanski's a known he rapist. Was, he was a Nazi. He was, he was a known... He was a Nazi. He was a Nazi, and he was so good at making movies that we were like, we need him. He was... <laughs> <laughs> we can't... Dude, we can't know? let Russia have him. <laughs> Roman, Roman Polanski, like... Did you read about his thing at all? Him and De Niro? No. Dude, yeah. De Niro's been paying his legal bills for the last, like, two decades. Yeah. And Polanski, Polanski was raping Polanski people? Raped. People, like, is it, he got... He fled the United States. He, he raped a, France. Yeah, like a 13-year-old, and then he moved to... <sighs> he moved back either to Poland. Dude, he moved, went back to Poland. Yeah, and all... all oh, of, he's a Polak? Yeah. I think so. He fled. He probably thought she was, like, 27. Under under but under Polish yeah Polak. under Polish jurisdiction <laughs> you just go back to Poland and you're like I was tricked in the yeah, states yeah, so you're yeah. like fine I don't it's, know what I'm it's doing funny, it's funny <laughs> happens because it's like you know how people are like oh can you separate art from artist or whatever it's like can you still like Cosby and it's like I never really gave a shit about Cosby yeah I wasn't so really. it didn't do anything for me and Woody Allen same thing I don't really care about his movies the old like Polanski is the only one that. And then I found out the director of uh, several of the Fast and the Furious movies was <laughs> literally raping his own daughter. What? And it's like, can I 
you can still enjoy those. Unlearn that information. Yeah. Yo, every time we go back well, to how our, am I, I'm going to be in Hobbs and Shaw, and he's going to be like, well, you hopes are in my hopes. <laughs> Which he, one of us is hopes? And I'm going to be thinking about do, that kid getting raped. <laughs> was that Tokyo Drift? Of enjoying the... Dude, yeah. Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift, too? Uh, maybe. That's the best one, by the way. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is the best one. It's, it's like Tokyo that Drift. Off. That fucking song, dude. Yeah. Hey, me, 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 Tokyo. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Tell that me, dude. do you know how yeah, they live man. in dude, Tokyo? That song is so fucking yeah, they good. they piss on That's each awesome. other. They fuck kids. We all know how they live in Tokyo. That's one of those movies where you cheer for the fucking bad guy again. Who the, the in that fucking in Tokyo Drift that dude Chinese like shows guy? up who the, and like the, starts, it was a guy from Friday Night Lights yeah the fucking quarterback from Friday Night Lights like learns he just drives faster than another dude so the mm. dude's girlfriend's like I want to fuck him now yeah <laughs> that's how it works, the dude. real the lens should have been focused on how much of a fucking dumb slut that girl was yeah <laughs> the real fucking speed freak she's yeah. like yo how fast also in Japan how fast is that Mazda going I'll suck that guy's <laughs> dick. what the, is this the fact that she's fucking like Gaijin makes her like tainted forever <laughs> yeah dude. Yeah, that, that movie doesn't really make any sense at all. No. He gets, Little Bow Wow's he, over there? He huh? destroys, like, a housing development. Like, they're building <laughs> yeah. houses. He does, like, a quarter million dollars worth of property damage, and the judge is like, all right, as punishment, you're going to Japan. <laughs> you have to live. He was, he was exiled. Yeah, you have, to, you're, you're no, you have to leave Bakersfield, California <laughs> yeah. to live in a metropolis uh, a global city. That should be a real fucking punishment. Exile. Yeah. Exile should be like a fucking. Do you get, do you yeah. get thrown in Yakuza control? <laughs> yeah. Well, then he gets there, and then he, he like meets those guys in the parking garage, and they're all like racing, and the the guy that the Chinese guy that dies, who's at the, the Chinese guy. Well, yeah, because he's in. He's they're, in. The later excuse movie. me. They're 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 called dinks. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know the, the, the proper term, but anyways. He, uh, <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't go over well. Yeah, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would. It did not. You're learning how live shows work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta well, walk, no, this is our, like you live shows in line. Philly. That shit murders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say dink again. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. keep saying dink. The best part, yeah, they broke down Fast and Furious, <laughs> and then one dude yelled dink. It was fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they also don't get. Tokyo Drift, but it's because it's too smart for them. <laughs> That's why the plot doesn't make sense. Is they couldn't grasp that he would go to Japan, which is a different country than China. <laughs> They're like, I don't get it. Also, two no, that's the age-old movie archetype of a white guy hitting Asian culture and just give him like three days. He's like, I'll be the best at everything here. It yeah. is true. Last Samurai, Tokyo Drift. Dude. It's the same they should, thing. They're they like, you guys have been like studying a, martial arts for thousands of years. Like, give me a stick. And he's like, yeah, I'm better. Yeah. I'm, better <laughs> yeah. I'm better than you guys. Immediately, the guy's wife he killed starts sucking his dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, I never thought about how. If you blindfold a white guy in Asia, he becomes the best, apparently. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> just downloads Once all these Once you take it off, he's like, whoa. <laughs> He yeah. just like whisper broken English to him. He's like, yeah, it all makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> the last samurai is another. The, the ending of that is like bizarre. Cause like he's being killed, he's going into battle against like the British, the other white yeah. people or whatever. And they're like guys he knows, <laughs> yeah. boys. Yeah. And it's almost it's like it's like the end of the Hangover. We're like, where the fuck has Tom been? He's oh, been on like a is. bender <laughs> for six weeks. <laughs> he's oh, he's dressed army. like Shredder and cutting his own guts out. <laughs> like, yeah. man, come on, bro. Dude, imagine if you like. What are you lost, doing? If you lost track of your boy and you you just like started doing karate on you after uh -huh. like twenty years, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I've been they've been healing me with Chinese pussy in a rice paddy. I'm drunk off rice and Chinese pussy, and now <laughs> they gave me a shredder outfit. I, yeah, I don't know. I thought they were pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. It's worth dying over for sure. Mm -hmm. You're definitely. just sitting there like, I'll fucking die for these. And then you come. That is great. Just being like, where the fuck did he go? <laughs> he just comes storming out of the woods with yeah. a thousand Japanese dudes with him. <laughs> You're like, all right, well, open fire. He's, he's coming at us. What's the other one? Dances with Wolves or Last of the Mohicans? Is Last of the Mohicans, that's just Daniel Day-Lewis playing. In, in he's playing Savage, yes. Yeah. He's going Savage. Is he really? Is he, yeah. is he allowed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Daniel Day-Lewis went Savage. I that. would love it if he's like, I've been waiting waiting my whole career I've like put the effort in I'm the best actor in the world I'm doing blackface I'm doing <laughs> I'm going for it it's he, been could, done. he it could off, get dude. away with it he could they're like that they, they do the Al Jolson movie with Daniel Day Lewis and he doesn't even play Al Jolson he plays his <laughs> his black friend that's guiding him 
He's like, you, oh, that's yeah, not like, how you do it. He's you like back in, yeah, he's like a blackface bag of Ooh. bands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just comes out of the dark. It's just like, yeah. that's how you do it, man. Tropic Thunder already cornered the market. Tropic Thunder that was yeah. like, ultimate. I honestly didn't know. You that, watched it I not knowing? I swear to God, I didn't know, dude. I swear <laughs> to God, I didn't know. Well, you were know. like, where's Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> When's he going to be in the movie? Someone literally had to point out Robert to me. I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude. No way. <laughs> but they show him without the makeup on in the beginning. Really? Yeah, because he's... <laughs> I must He's have Kirk it. Lazarus, like the world's greatest method actor. I must have missed it. They have the, the movie starts with that other movie he did where he's like the gay priest. Oh. I'm always 15 minutes late to the theater, so probably like, yeah, we, didn't, we didn't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, that's like, that's one of the funniest movies ever made. Oh, dude, it really awesome. is. Yeah. Dude, have you seen Euphoria yet? I had I came and no. talk about Euphoria specifically. I know, and I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Matt, you don't have you didn't have Matt, to see it. Yeah, I still I should have seen it. Dude, it's the down. most fucked up show. I was talking to my I told my friend to watch it, and he was like, dude, it's just seventeen year old girls having sex. And I was like, mm-hmm. ah, okay. Oh, uh, what channel is? Uh, how do you? Is it streaming or? It's no, it's it's on HBO. Can we watch it now? It's on HBO. The best part. There's a main character called Domination Daddy. Uh huh. Just Love like it. having sex with like underage gay dudes, <laughs> it's fucked. And dude, this is you know it's a hit show on HBO. Yeah, if you put enough money behind any shitty idea, there's enough people in the country that'll be like, it's smart. It's actually smart. Yeah, and it Drake, makes me smart to watch it. If it's like if it's like shot well, yeah. And even though it's just it's a dude sh- raping boys, dude. yeah. It's like hell yeah, this is a good well, show. Well, he, he like well, it's more it. about it's more about our desires, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it really shines a light. Our on desire it. not to rape boys per se. Yeah. Yeah. But in the case of this character, yes. His name's Domination Daddy? Domination Daddy. Dude. I mean, he they, film, they Domination Daddy films himself, and then his son's a star quarterback, finds Domination Daddy's films, and instantly turns into a maniac. <laughs> he just, films himself fucking boys, and yeah. then his it's just star like, quarterback. It's, it's Domination son. Daddy will have you suck his fingers, and then he'll just butt fuck you into oblivion. So It's like so hard and so graphic. We were watching it, just like, ah. So the name, Euphoria is, alert. the name Euphoria is ironic? Or huh? <laughs> what is no, his name? name his name Domination Daddy's a screen name. No, the name of the show. Is Euphoria. Euphoria. <laughs> yeah. Is <that> the- <laughs> so you're hitting like hard doggy style on these boys, and they show it. Yeah, dude. Dude, do like- you remember that fucking uh, what was that ESPN show? Oh, a lot of show? sorry. It, the other thing, it was the locker room shot, high school football team, H classic HBO, tons of dicks, high school boys dicks mm-hmm. on HBO, no problem. How thick? Dude, I'll tell you, finally, HBO is, has been inclusive about penis size. <laughs> it's usually hogs, dude. They, it's usually like, I'll like, dude, I was with my girlfriend. Yeah, you watched like, Rome? is that real? I was like, it's a fucking prosthetic, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and they showed, they showed some classic Statue of David's. I was like, all right, it's about time they turn around. Yeah. Yeah. What, turn you seen, you seen Rome, right? Where they just, <laughs> where did Marcus Aurelius is just getting hosed down by a slave. And it's like, they could have done this in his kitchen. <laughs> I don't believe that in ancient Rome he was like, yeah, we have to, let's talk about the budget, but it can't wait. It's going to have to be while my balls are being washed by my slave. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was like Spartacus. Yeah. Same thing. I never watched that show. It's awesome. No, there was a, the thing I was trying to say, there was an ESPN show, a football show, Mm -hmm. a while ago, where it was like a, it's like a drama. Does anyone know what the fuck I'm talking about? Like 10 years ago? Anyway, I was watching it with my family, and uh, I was watching it with my parents. <laughs> you guys were watching ESPN Yeah, we were watching drama. like a nice football fucking show, and then there was like just a scene where this roided out linebacker just started butt fucking this prostitute, Whoa. like real, like real hard, like real hard doggy yeah. on ESPN, dude. It was little giant. I was giants. sitting next to my fucking mom. <laughs> little giants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. I actually, I've never seen Little Giants. Do you have it? No, I just know it's a football movie with kids. That's that's the play. The annexation of Puerto Rico is butt fucking a prostitute really hard. Yeah, while while you sit next to your mom and watch it. It's fucked up. No, Little Giants sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of dorks that end up beating like a jacked fucking sick team. Mm-hmm. Same thing as uh, Mighty Ducks. It's like these kids have no business being on the fucking ice, <laughs> and they just beat the best team possible. Yeah. All because the coach got a fucking DUI. <laughs> I feel like the bad guy coach in Mighty Ducks should have been Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah. The bad guy coach in Mighty Ducks was the 
fucking man, dude. Don't he's ask got, like, me if I got HIV. <laughs> he's talking to the kids boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, guys, gather around. Listen, if a woman asks you, it's none of her fucking business. <laughs> she decided to be a prostitute. She knows <laughs> She knows what the risks are. These are the risks. Dude, I was watching the uh, the Deuce recently, man. I was actually that was the only reason I was excited to come up here. I, I hate New York, and I was like, yeah. I can't stand this place. And uh, but I was watching the Deuce. I'm like, this will be cool. <laughs> I like, dude, they should bring pimps back. But just have them like they can't do like all like they can't hit women. But we should have like impeccably dressed gentlemen just out here, just like saying cool shit. <laughs> yeah. Saying I was cool like, just shit. saying cool mm-hmm. shit, dude. What do you think? Yeah, there's black guys. You ever see American <laughs> Pimp? You ever see American Pimp? The documentary? I think so. That was like, was that the real one where they did like the like down on the avenue? Maybe. Remember the remember the remember that HBO show where they, a guy would rhyme and the big like girl getting like a the dude would be like getting a blowjob in a car and some narrator like down on the strip. The pimps go hard. <laughs> <laughs> that? Was that real sex? I don't know. I think I jerked off to it once. No, uh, that was probably real sex. It was pimps. I think it was pimps. The doc. I think it was similar to that. Yeah. It was like pimps at the point. Hookers on the point. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was tight. It was tight. Mm-hmm. You get like grainy yeah. surveillance footage of a car rocking. I was like, I can jerk off to this. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> People it was don't like really Grand talk Theft about- Auto. Grand Theft Auto, oh, you get that. Co- that would jar one loose every <laughs> once in a while. I'd be playing. I'd be playing Grand Theft Auto and get like a hooker in my car and it'd start rocking. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you beat uh, off to a car. <laughs> I beat off to <laughs> shaking cars yeah. before, dude. Yeah, that's how it starts. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty and much. Four me. years later, you're on fucking forums drawing <laughs> pictures of cars turning into cars wearing diapers. <laughs> I told you about the time I, uh, I, was in my brother, I was at my brother's house, and I thought I heard people having sex next door, and I started jerking off, and they were just arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, all right, that's... Yeah, you jerked off to a d- domestic... Yeah. I was like against the wall yeah. in the kitchen, like... Just beating off to a deaf person trying to go up the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, <sighs> you'll, you'll appreciate Just a this. fat deaf guy. My, uh, we played... <laughs> He's we played... Uh, we played a seven on seven in football against a deaf team. Uh-huh. Funniest shit in the world, dude. Yeah, because and my sister played college basketball against a college deaf team. Mm-hmm. I think it's called Gal You Yeah, be wrong. Yeah, yeah this is cool. all deaf, yeah. dude. And it's D three basketball, so the whole re- like the stadium's empty. Yeah, you just hear these <laughs> girls the whole fucking yeah! Yeah. <laughs> and on the bench like. <laughs> The whole game. It was fucking I, incredible. They, the played the, I, they played through the whistle used, every really? single time. <laughs> I was say, they'd they blow the whistle on a foul and keep playing. And people, the other team would have to be like, stop, stop, stop. You what can if, fucking trick them. They That'd have be like, a good trick play. Be like, all right, the, the, the whistle blew. <laughs> no, it didn't. Just Boom. stop dribbling and hold the ball like this. Yeah, we got fucking Did they have like house. rodeo clowns? <laughs> like guys, that run. <laughs> <laughs> what, like guys that distract them? <laughs> they no, like, in if a barrel? If the whistle blew, people run out and like wrangle them down. Who won? Uh, I think the deaf team. Dude, deaf teams are fucking sick at sports. What's nice? What's nice about that is they win. You'd be like, you know, you gotta let them win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you gotta throw them a bone. They're retarded. <laughs> yeah, they're retarded. We played a uh, retarded kids. A deaf team in uh, yeah. seven on seven in football. Yeah. and they they did like a viral video. They didn't have a snap like... count. <laughs> they would just because it was all silent. That's they didn't call well plays. Up. You just hear them like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an ant colony. A viral it's video. It's like an ant colony, dude. They're probably like perfectly in tune with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they weren't. They were just going up to the line and like, and they would just yeah, burst and they action. would go into yeah, dude. It's terrifying. Yeah, the deaf. If you organize the deaf, it's dangerous. <laughs> that could be our defense against China with the Chinese. The, <laughs> you got to cut their hands off. <laughs> That's my fucking look. African warlord. You're right. <laughs> if elected, <laughs> I promise I will cut off the left hand of every deaf person in this country and give it to somebody who needs it. <laughs> True. A veteran. No, they they need their hands more than a, yeah. no. They're not blind. We're cutting, blind off, we're cutting off deaf people's hands and using them as feet for the veterans. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good policy, dude. Yeah, it is. I, I think mean, that's what the guy. With the, that. That's what the guy with the eye patch is running on. They will try. <laughs> yeah, the they will try anything to get rid of Trump. You could, you could be a Democratic uh, uh, huh? uh, candidate. <laughs> his fucking future. The guy with the eye patch yeah. doesn't have his crap. Yeah, he's just got it fucking taped in there. Yeah. Have you seen him? No, it's, it's like a futuristic eye patch. Stop. Yeah, the dude without a fucking eye. He has a strapless eye patch. It's just a black <laughs> thing that's it's attached like a to his face. Yeah, it's like a pasty. Oh, nice. <laughs> he fucking yeah. 
<laughs> and he just reminds everyone he was a vet. That's his whole fucking thing. Oh yeah, that guy. The guy dude. that made Pete yeah, Davidson yeah, 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 apologize yeah. to him. Uh, is he definitely? Is someone invest? Like I need to see eye charts on that dude. I hear you. It's just too good at timing for an eye patch fucking politician. <laughs> it's too good. Why do you mean you lose your eye in Iraq? Like oh, we got into a sword fight on the plank. And, <laughs> you know, one of the. <laughs> One of the, yeah, the, his parrot fucking came at me. and I, I wonder if it happened like uh, in a Christmas tale. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it happened like in a Christmas tale. Like, careful, kid. And he was like, ah, shit. <laughs> he shot his eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas tale. Dude, uh, did you watch, uh, did you watch the, uh, did you catch the debates? I haven't yeah. watched the have debate you saw, Have you seen some of the fallout with like people, did you hear like Kamala Harris lied about listening to Tupac in college? That was, that was a long time ago though. Huh? That was, that was like seven months ago. When she got Still. busted? That's hilarious. That's a fat. That's a big lie. She was yeah. lying and about it was also, to Pac. It was also sort of misrepresented too, because it was part of a longer interview, and she was like, "Sure." She said she smoked weed in college, and then later in the interview, she said, "You know, they were like, like, what kind of music did you use to listen to?" And she said, "I don't know, like, Tupac and oh. stuff." So, like, it, it. I mean, it's like not as much of like a, so a lie. I she said it at the debate. She's like, I smoked weed and listened to If it happened again, <laughs> I didn't. No, if it happened again, I didn't see it. It was like an interview Damn. on like okay, Breakfast good. Club. I'm so excited to see whoever they trot out that just gets well, I just want to butt fucked by Trump daddy, dude. Yeah. Dude, Cory Booker was like, he claimed to live in the hood. They all came out like, what are you going to do about tax? He's like, well, I, I live in a low income crime ridden area. And it's mm. like, dude, and no one answered any question. That's like the pure like sociopath Olympics. Like, what are you going to do yeah. about the budget? They're like, well, let me tell you about this. And like, what I'm running on is jobs. Mm, I yeah. love jobs. I was just in so Omaha, like, Nebraska, right, and I met a nurse. <laughs> she works hard. <laughs> so think about that. It's like, great, dude. Bring out Trump. Be like, yeah, you're dude. fat. You're fat. One you're ugly. <laughs> ugly. Debunked. That's, you have to come out and say something. Like, you have to like be afflicted somehow. You have to come yeah. out and be like, let me tell you, my whole fucking family died on the way here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn this economy around. Right. Well, Biden tried to play that card, which is like way more tragic than being like a light-skinned black guy that's had a, a, a great career in politics. <laughs> so he's like, Yo, Biden, my, my whole died. family's been tragically killed. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then people are like, boo! Yeah. That's not enough! Do gay shit! <laughs> Do something fucking gay. Well, Bi <laughs> Biden has like Kennedy genes. Everyone in his yeah. family died. Yeah, yeah. Wife, daughter, son. Pretty Damn. much. Yeah. He's last man standing. Yeah, let him let him touch women. Fuck. Yeah, yeah dude. I I'm actually, way you're, to take. you're very against that. You know what he should that. do? I'm very pro yeah. Biden touching people. Him he being touchy? I think just, he's he fine. He should be like, you smell like my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, smell yeah. like my daughter. He probably is you, saying you shit like that. You smell exactly like my daughter who died. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have know you, if you want to meet to that, but what's that? Have you seen the tapes of him like groping people? And yeah, stuff? I think it's blown out of proportion. I agree what? with that. Yeah. I think it's blown Nine, out of dude, proportion. Grab, would you ever grab a nine-year-old right here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you move him around. <laughs> I told you that time I groped that kid. That was accidental. That was I. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've said it before. There was I was out with my girlfriend. We were like mm -hmm. ta taking. We were like babysitting these people uh -huh. and uh, these kids. And I, w I walked up to the group, and I'm taller than everyone. So like I just saw a girl with blonde hair, and I thought it was my girlfriend. And I stood directly behind her and put my hand like that, like on her, like under her tits, like on the ribs. And then I looked up and saw my girlfriend. And I was like. Oh no! And it was it was a little kid. It was yeah, a young if, girl. If <laughs> it was a young girl, but th there's there's Damn. not like a compilation of 13 minutes of you doing that. I would. <laughs> like, he's, everyone gets one, I guess. He's, he has like millions, dude. I don't know. If I hang out with my girlfriend long enough, I'll fucking start so, like, but, but wanting you, to grab. What ass. do you think? That Joe Biden wants to <laughs> fuck nine year olds? Yes. Yes. Robert De Niro I mean, is also you know a pedophile. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I came probably. here specifically to call Robert yeah. De Niro a pedophile in his backyard, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's not it's looking bad. Did you ever look into that? Mm, no. Dude, he has he like he went to court in Pennsylvania in the nineties. He had a like there was a, a, a dude, pedophile. De Niro? De Niro. Roman Polanski's his boy, Pedo, on mm -hmm. the books. It's done. Years later he goes over and defends a pedo in court, and be like, nah, he was with me on like this guy Whoa. like hundred and twenty counts of child molestation. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So then he's like, nah, that's my boy, he's with Damn. me. Damn. That's his second boy who's hundred and twenty two, dude. Putting up numbers, dude. That's wow. a triple double. <laughs> he had hundred and twenty two counts, that's his boy. And then he goes, Oh no, no, he was with me on this on my movie set. De Niro. Yeah, dude. The raping bull. And <laughs> 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 Yeah, dude. 
I'm wow. telling you, De Niro. So De Niro, you're gonna roll up that pedophile. He's that's what that's we do. Why you think he's so We're, fucking? Why do you think he's getting in front of it? Rolling up the pedophile. Yeah, dude. De Niro's. A, I'm back on my rolling up the pedophiles bullshit. Yeah, we need I've to had enough. I've had enough of these the guys. Psychedelic vampires. That's weird because I also am obsessed with elite pedophiles and Robert De Niro is <laughs> Has not on my not on my radar at well? all. In fact, I recently rewatched Heat, and when he gets shot at the end, I'm like, that's me. That's me. I'm Who? so close to getting out of this bullshit life, and I just won't. It won't happen. Which pedophile would you bring down if you had a choice? Which elite pedophile? Shh. There's like uh, nine on the Geff- Gate website. David Geffen. Dave Geffen's at the top. Really? Or Spielberg. One of the two. Yo, Spielberg's Spielberg. a better ass? Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah man. Allegedly. I didn't by, know the, uh, alleged by me. I didn't know the J. I didn't know the J. I don't know the dabbled. laws. What you're supposed to say? Do you, how does allegedly work? You just I think say that's that, good. and then you say whatever. I think that's perfect. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm on the record. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the official record. Yeah. Hmm. Um, you're gonna kill yourself after this show, probably. You're gonna take. You're gonna deliberately take a bunch uh, of poison. Uh, mm-hmm. I see what you're putting down. I see what you're putting down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> no, I mean, I do worry about that. Luckily, I'm just some idiot. But no, no, no. That they'll like they'll. They're like, gonna come get you. Yeah, they'll suicide you. I don't think anyone in Hollywood's ever committed suicide. <laughs> I think. You think they, it's all been staged? All you think been, the singer Lincoln Park was on the song? They've all been. Yeah. I think oh, he was yeah. about to crack the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite one. They like lose their minds. Travis Barker, Lincoln Park. Randy, I, I think Randy you, Quaid? you keep saying Travis Barker. I think it's the other guy. It's Tom DeLong. It's not Travis Barker? No, Barker's chilling, dude. What's he up to? He's just tatted up. <laughs> Balling out. It's Tom is it Tom DeLong? Is that the guy? What happened to him? He's like he's into aliens. <laughs> he's seen an alien. He's dude. seen a bunch of aliens. Oh, okay. <laughs> he saw a bunch of aliens. Now, he's, now he needs now our he's help. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what happens, if you see an alien, you're instantly just like uh, <laughs> You play for Gal Yadet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, that would you be s- tough to see an alien and then have to come back. You got to keep yeah. it to and yourself. And play like pop punk songs. Like, oh, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, everybody, yo, this next, before this last song, yo, for real, ali- <laughs> aliens are fucking real, dude. I saw them. <laughs> anyway, one, two, three. <laughs> Close the door, board it up. That's, yeah. That one's a little too dark for them. Yeah. I don't think the Adam's song. Yeah, yeah it's a All sad the one. songs are like, being in high school is pretty cool. I had too yeah. many beers. And one of them's like, my friend killed himself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's dead. His yeah. family had to board up his room uh, to tough. deal with the pain of his suicide. Fucking apple juice spilled in the hall, oh, yeah. dude. I'll never forget it. Uh-huh. Wow, what a memorable event is spilling apple juice. Did you have to define himself. someone's <laughs> life? Do you guys get into Blink-182 and stuff no, like that? No, never. I do, I do like that the Legion of Skanks stole their logo, though. <laughs> <laughs> but Lewis is like, Yo. Hmm, it's time for me to have an original thought. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Go. Can't do it. Uh, <laughs> it was tough looking out and seeing. There was a lot of that. People were getting tattoos of that that day when we did yeah, Skankfest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Skankfest? Yo, yeah, I, man. Thank Sorry, I should say that Lewis is allegedly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was blacked out. Dude, la- this, is, this is really embarrassing to share. I was like yeah. blacked out at Skankfest last year in line to get a fucking Legion of Skanks tattoo. Were you? I was in line to get oh. a tattoo. And these two guardian angels, dude, my juggalo guardian angels, <laughs> were like, bro, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, I do. And they do were you like, have dude, any don't do it. Do I? No, I don't have any tattoos. Yeah. Matt has a fucking, dude, show him. Dude. Put the fear of God in this communist. Yeah. Woo! Don't fucking tread on me. Uh, <laughs> why? Is that ironic or? No, it's not, no. unfortunately. <laughs> No, it's not even the one from the flag. It's a different no. snake. Well, here's the, here's what happened. The story you is you got the snake first, and you're like, "That's stupid." I'll I guess I'll make co- it patriotic. Literally, I try to cover it up, dude. I I got the snake, and my brother goes, "Don't get the wording." I was I was living in a house in West Philly, and I had like three weed plants growing. Mm. I was like, "The government can't tell me anything, dude." <laughs> I was I was like 24, and I uh, I was gonna get it all across my back, like 50 Cent has his yeah. in the one video, and then I I made a. I made the plans, and then like I didn't want to cancel because the guy's like, everyone's canceled on me. I'm like, fuck it. I'll go do it. And then he put it on. Instantly, I woke up that morning. I was like, fuck. Yeah. I have the fucking Gagston flag. I want a, <laughs> I want a huge back piece. This was piece pre, like, Culture Wars, too. Yeah, the, that the was, top, dude. The Tapatio guy with the prayer hands. That'd be tight, dude. That'd you almost sick. got that? No, I, that's what I want. 
Dude, I got this, and then I was like, I don't want. I'm gonna block up the the don't tread on me because literally everyone I saw would be like, oh, don't tread on Matt, don't tread on. I was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> so then I uh, I like went to a place and was like, just you know, put something around it. And they were yeah. like, how about a desert? Just scene? remove the T. And, <laughs> and then desert. people won't look. Like, how about a desert scene? I was like, that's cool. Look at the fucking desert, look at dude. That, dude. That's like a turquoise look cactus. Look at that cactus, dude. <laughs> Why cactus. is it turquoise? Cacti. Look at that cacti, dude. Why Sun- is it blue under the sunset, snake? bro? That's really What's awful. under the snake? This What's is like the th- shit that's on the wall in the Roy Rogers in Fort Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll like every now and again I'll bust out a tank and like go outside and be like, ah, oh, fuck, God damn, it. <laughs> God damn it. Thank God, dude. I would I would have got like a fucking Notre Dame tattoo. That'd be tight. Mm. That would have been just chaos. If I never got into stand up, like if I didn't make, if I was selling cars. I would one million percent have a fucking Notre Dame tattoo. For right sure, now. dude. I was laughing a couple weeks ago about like the Holocaust survivors tattooing a dollar sign in front of the numbers to cheer themselves up. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, that no, no, it's kind of nice. Yeah, I wonder if they <laughs> went with your technique and just put like a desert behind it, <laughs> like a desert barcode. Don't <laughs> like tread on me. Barcode in here. It's a nice fucking set of numbers out in the desert. Oh my god, dude. I don't yeah, know why I said barcode. No, I think I was thinking barcode too. No, they got the fucking straight numbers. Do they? Which is, why the fuck do they do that? What? Fucking number them like that. To keep track of them. Yeah, database. Yeah, but what, what is that? It's a holocaust. No, I understand. <laughs> I, I didn't They're think doing was, a holocaust. Yeah, but you, I feel like you don't need to write a number on their... Well, what do you do? Well, here's you're the just thing. Fucking, you're killing them. What are you fucking counting for? Um, and also, just put it, no, like, write it on their for, back. They, they were using them for labor and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they were big number, blah, 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 blah. Give them an ID card. Well, they can fuck with the ID cards. They would, too. If you, if you don't. <laughs> they would. They're very... Yeah, all right. I get it immediately. <laughs> they would yeah. find a way. They would scam the system. You got to fucking write it on them. Yeah. I would love if this was a debate <laughs> while they were designing the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah, there's there's one guy's give them a like, card. we should fucking tattoo them. <laughs> like, I don't think... We, there's we no don't need to do, do that. that. There's no reason for it. Because it hurts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it. Was there a chance it just kind of like look, it sounded cool like you were saying they're like we should tattoo them mm-hmm. like, right, just make up numbers and put them on them it was, was there number one probably damn <laughs> there was a number one draft pick dude there was a LeBron yeah. James <laughs> there was a LeBron Jew out there dude it's a guy with 007 <laughs> it was a 007 oh, dude. Hell yeah. this is not bad <laughs> hey everybody da-na, da-na. <laughs> Like, cut it out, dude. Cut it out. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody, this is fucked up, but one Jew had a 420-69. There was a guy that was just 69, 420. The uh, the irony Jew. (laughs) (laughs) The irony Jew. The guy that's like, yeah, it's it's heckin' good and awesome. (laughs) Dude, where are the, these are good doggos (laughs) around here at camp. (laughs) That'd it's, be funny if that's how Schindler's List ended. It's insanely good that we're being Holocaust. <laughs> the, the fucking, the girl in the red jacket that dies in Schindler's List. Yeah. It like cuts to her wrist. It just says 69. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hilarious. A lot of people are happy about that joke. That was like, a, that, that, like Instagram let you do that for a while. I don't know if they still do, where you could select a color. So oh, just, and they, only they did, a color? They did that like Schindler's List thing. I think. I remember that. Maybe it was a different photo app I had. Maybe I've it was seen a it. camera. I you don't know, know how I've no. seen it? Notre Dame, Notre Dame football's Instagram. Oh, yeah? They go just gold in a lot of pictures. Yeah. Really? Pretty fucking sick, dude. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought it was just like there, there's this one little girl in the Holocaust that drank a bunch of Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> she was using Gatorade to get through the Holocaust. Red Gatorade. <laughs> she could have. Because if you remember the old Gatorade she commercial. Had, yeah. quen- she would have defeated her thirst. What was the fucking saying? With all the red quen- sweat? Quench your thirst? I don't think it no, could have been Sprite. quench your thirst. That was what, Gatorade? Gatorade. Yeah. Gatorade is quench your thirst. Quench your, is it? No, it's Sprite like defeat, was like... Defeat obey your thirst. thirst. Obey, obey your obey thirst your Sprite. Thirst. That's right. Gatorade is like quench. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say defeat. Defeat your thirst? I'm going to stand my ground on this. I don't think they had thirst in there at all. I think it's just quench. I think they're like I think quench. That's way out of line. Quench. <laughs> You're just making this up. <laughs> I'm still stuck know, on man. stupid, dude. On what? I'm still stuck on stupid. What, what do you mean? I'm still stuck on Polanski. I had no uh-huh. idea. Did you guys all know? Is this common knowledge? Yeah. yeah. You guys still Wait, like him? You didn't know? I thought he didn't know. I didn't know until today. I didn't, I didn't you know. You didn't know until today? My friend told me. He was like, no, uh, Robert De Niro is a pedophile. I said, nah. Well, I like, didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about De Niro. And then I just, three websites. I was like, convinced. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was his boy. That was his, the night Polanski committed his crime. He literally went to Robert De Niro's house after, that night. Mm-hmm. And was just like, what's up, bro? 
They still chill. Well, you know they who's still you know chill. What? I mean, you Polanski's chill. whole family was murdered, and then he became a pedophile. Fucking Joe Biden. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Think well, about it. Now, now it's get, starting to come together. You're getting into satanic sacrifice. You lose your now we're talking satanic. satanic sacrifice. Now we're talking satanic. In order to get in, yeah. you got to murder someone close. It to is the kind group. of. It is sort of the plot of Rosemary's Baby in a roundabout way, if you think about it. Well, also, if you want to, if you want to like pet her undisturbed, you got to kind of kill everyone you know. So like, hey, what are you up to? You're like, eh. Mm-hmm. If your mom's calling you, like, what are you doing today? You're like, yeah, eh, you know. I'm watching uh, <laughs> uh, M- MIB International. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got a, a screener, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> Pedophiles must love MIB. They're like, damn, I wish I had one of those. Yeah. Those fucking <laughs> God, that'd be nice. Mm-hmm. They just check their IDs and do it to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Plansky fucked a kid yeah. Yeah, a bunch of times. I, uh, I don't know. Well, and then De Niro's, like, who's De, where's the evidence De Niro's fucking kids or he's just boys with pedophiles? He's boys with two So many, he's like Joe Pa. He's boys with multiple pedophiles. It's like, if, if you it's like Joe Paterno. He's just boys with a sick... The, Arguably the goat, yeah, but pedophile. True, true. Top true. two, MJ, MJ, and uh, are they Sandusky. building a Sandusky statue at Penn State? There's no Sandusky statue. <laughs> are they going to build one? They have. <laughs> they tore down the Joe Pa statue yeah. and just built a Sandusky. <laughs> wow, another Pollock, by the way. I put it in the middle of the playground. <laughs> Keep an eye on those Pollocks. The Pope was a Pollock too for a while, and he fucking hid pedo Pollocks. Mm. That might Maybe be the mean. Nazis were onto something. <laughs> Getting gonna... rid of the Polacks. <laughs> yeah, they really are a trash race. The Polacks? Oh yeah, for sure. It's like if Russians were bad at math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. It's like if Russians nothing. didn't know anything about space. Yeah, they, like, have no, they have nothing to offer. They're just like, yeah, just shitty Russians. Fat hogs though. Polish guys have Polacks? fat yeah. hogs. Well, they're dumb. Here. A lot they're, of width. They're, they're dumb. Polish guys are rocking width. <laughs> really? Yeah, bro. Polish guy, any, any Polish? <laughs> Actually, I saw some of your dicks in the bathroom. It's pretty small in here. I saw one guy's dick. I forget he's coming in. It wasn't bad. You saw a guy's dick? The, the side of your eyes make someone's dick. I'm actually you're worried about. Enormous. I but get worried about that now. Like if if I'm pissing at a show, someone's gonna catch you. I would if I went to somebody's show. I would want to see their dick. <laughs> you know. You should do that. For Just like, give it a glance. I'm so afraid it's gonna be someone on the Reddit. <laughs> it's gonna be like yo, I saw Shane's dick at the show. Be, it's that'd be so nice, sh- so <laughs> shitty. At the, at the urinal, small, there's like a, it's a drone coming. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, you gotta watch Euphoria in the shower. They literally, it's like a, it's like, it's like a minute and a half montage of just like extra dicks. Dumb. Just yeah. like, well, uh, famous pedophile Brian Singer like did the same thing in App Pupil. Famous pedophile. They fucking no. I mean, they they when they shot App Pupil, they went to a middle school and they were like, let's get all the middle schoolers as extras and brought them all into the locker room Stop. and made them take their clothes off and filmed it. And then uh, afterwards, like Singer and his team, like they like you know somebody filed the police report and he's like, that's that's bullshit. You know, we just got to make our movie or whatever. Dude. So, yeah, he probably still has that footage somewhere. Dude, Polanski wrote, an, he w- ran away, wrote an autobiography, and to this day, he's like, young chicks are hot, get over it, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> he but he wrote that and was just like, deal with it, dude. Yeah, yeah. all right. So, he's I like, think we can I all agree it, Polanski's you know fucking spot on. But, you know, Chinatown, Rosemary's Baby, like, great movies that that's, I will rewatch. How young? Well, how young is Polanski? talking about they were they were fucking 13 like 15 nah, 13. that's too young mm-hmm. and do the same people freaking out now about weinstein like but they were 13 years ago in like 1965 All right, so, so that's they would old. be like 70 years old now oh wow 13 back then yeah so Ew. You, yeah you can't get mad now now because you can, you can spot a good 13 year old these days mm. back then it was on. back then it was on <laughs> dude the same people who were like freaking out about uh what's his face weinstein now yeah we're on the record like Nine years ago, being like, you got to separate the art from the artist, dude. Polanski's the shit. Same fucking people. Yeah, but that still can be a take. You can be like, oh, you shouldn't fuck kids, but also Rosemary's Baby. I'm on that page. I then when they're like, Louis C.K. can't perform anymore. It's like, well, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a obviously it's a a workplace safety. (laughs) It's a workplace safety issue. You could slip on his cum and break your neck. (laughs) Yeah. I was actually thinking about that on the way down. Dude, every time I see skyscrapers, I fantasize about just owning one, obviously, and, like, what I would do Mm -hmm. with it. And I was thinking how I'd get one and just (laughs) have it. threaten Superman? Huh? (laughs) Just sit at the top? No. I was thinking how I would have it and just have it, like, emit, like, a, like, kind of like a viscous goo 
out of the top. Oh, like cum. I was thinking about that earlier. My skyscraper would be like shamelessly phallically shaped. Mm -hmm. And it would like shoot a mist of cum out every day at like 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I would just shoot like 100,000 bucks out of the top. This is what year. would beat Trump in the debates. <laughs> <laughs> this is what people don't realize. This is exactly <laughs> the playbook it, to beat it, Trump. It what, he'd be like, well, you know, I would do that too. It's like, well, you already have a skyscraper. Why didn't you do it do yet? <laughs> Where's, where is your cum skyscraper? <laughs> If you're supposed to have we're it, we're working on it. We're working on it. it things are different. Thank you. Very you know, low energy. There's a lot of <laughs> not my type, but <laughs> did you see Trump dude, raped a chick brutal. and it was like not brutal. my fucking type, dude? <laughs> but did you see her on Anderson Cooper? Yes, though? she was like people I mean, think rapes. She, she's sexy. just and Gary like, Busey. Okay, we're gonna go to commercial. <laughs> she's yeah, like. Rape, rape is sexy. Rape is a sexy <laughs> thing to see. <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to go to commercial. We're going to let you finish that statement when we come back. You know, when people think about rape, they think he's about on his all the like, fantasies. He's on his, like, 10th allegation. He's literally... He's the, undefeated, dude. He's yeah. blindfolded. He's Tom the Mike Cruise. Tyson He's blindfolded with a bow staff on those I guess things. Mike Tyson like, was Mike Tyson or rape. I love it. And then the next week, <laughs> the next week he goes to like hang out with Kim Jong Un in North Korea. <laughs> yeah, he crawls. The best is they're like, this is a historic moment. And Trump's just like, this is it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just steps across the border like it's. it's <laughs> film this. Film it on your phone. <laughs> yeah, man. Every year, every time they come out, I'm like, all right, someone's gonna come up with something, and I'll go vote. And I just watch them all like. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I'm another four years. There, away. honestly, though, there hasn't been one clip of Trump that I haven't been like, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> like every single thing he does, I'm just like, this is great. Yeah. This is hilarious. Yeah. I mean, I again, I think it'd be hilarious if he got shot. Mm -hmm. The whole bit would be hilarious. Everything he does is hilarious. Mm -hmm. No matter what he does, crossing the border was funny. Because he wears these long, goofy suits. <laughs> he just, everything he does. He was that fucking, that fucking thing with George Stephanopoulos was oh, fucking dude. hilarious. Somebody coughed while he was giving a response in an interview, and he's like, stop the fucking tape. <laughs> if you're going to do that, go outside. And Stephanopoulos was like, that's your secretary of state. <laughs> he's like, get him out of here. <laughs> There's one part. The best part by far is he, he's like, I want to show you something. This is very nice. And he holds up the new designs for Air Force One. He, uh -huh. he painted the plane. He's like, it's red, white, and blue this time. Very patriotic about it, I guess. And then he points it. He looks straight at the camera and goes. <laughs> <laughs> like he holds it up. He's like. <laughs> he poses for a picture at the camera mid-interview. Oh. And they're like, have you done anything different with the White House? He's like, a lot of flags. <laughs> a lot of flags. There weren't many flags here before. There are flags. Yeah, that's like the first <laughs> the first lady's job is to decorate the White House. It's the only thing he's, he's like, doing. I'm gonna do it. It's the only I'm thing he's doing. I'm gonna take that one is is decorating. I'm mad Mitt Romney didn't win. His first lady had a nice cause. Romney? She was gonna make equine therapy more available to people. What horse? It's like the richest shit you can think of. Yeah. Horse therapy? She, yeah, it was like the, she was like, I love equine therapy. It's like the richest shit you can do. Damn. They're you're gonna bring sad. horses down. It's like the... if you're sad, you're like you just rent a horse and you're like, oh, and you just ride it around. <laughs> I feel better now. She was trying to bring that to people. You ever ride a horse? I'm, I got bucked off a horse, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, I got bucked off a horse. Dude, I'm scared of horses, man. Yeah, I got charged by horses. Scary. It feels like they're just <laughs> they're waiting for you the You got charged by a horse? You got waiting, charged by a horse? Yeah, well, I said trespass. And then there, there's a horse that was a, a bit horse. randy. Dude, it would fucking charge us. We'd run out the fence. We'd have to duck under an electric fence. <laughs> yeah. You, ever get charged you got by a horse? charged by a fence, and your response—I was like, "You got charged by a fence." Yeah, I used to trespass. <laughs> There's a guard. It was at a guard horse, dude. I don't know. If you wander on, if a horse's property, they get fucking the horses will get you. Wander onto a Mustang's fucking dude. You guys, I almost broke him one time. I almost hopped on him and broke him. <laughs> Brought him next door to my house. I was like, "All right, that's enough." And I got yeah, I got bucked off a horse in like '97. Where? My house. At your house? Yeah. At your house? The guy who lived above us had a pet raccoon and horses. Dude. The Look, entrance... how, about he, how did he live in an apartment? No, no, no. It was like, no. a, like up the, there's like a driveway. It was me on one side. My cousin's on the other side. I'm one of six. My cousins are one of ten. And then up the driveway was this like truck driver who rented like a farm space. And he just had like a pet raccoon. He used to feed it Urkel cereal. And he had, Urkel uh, cereal? <laughs> and then there was like, he had like horses and shit. Dude. There was a, there's a house. You've, you've seen my Bernie. neighborhood. I have a nice neighborhood that mm -hmm. I grew up in, but there's just one house at the end that's just a total piece of shit. It's like wood paneling. The whole house is like wood paneling. Mm -hmm. And then they just had a horse in their front yard. 
<laughs> for, and it, like not a good horse, like a real shitty horse that they didn't help. What like just cha- tied, chained tied up? to a fucking tree, just starving yeah. horse, a giant horse for literally for fifteen years, just in the fr- and the rest of my neighborhood's nice. And oh. there's one house that just had a fucking horse, and every time my dog used to. My dog Shaq used to break out. He would try to fight that horse. Mm-hmm. He spent every day of his life just trying to get outside to chase that horse. Did the horse died. <laughs> it was so. Sc- <laughs> I was. I was in like fifth grade. Like, get out of there, Shaq! <laughs> <laughs> like crying while a horse was trying to stomp him. It's nice it was, having a dog with like a racist name. Yeah, so yeah like we were like, what when is the he, dog huge starts like barking at black people, you like they're like, oh, I'm sorry, he's not usually like this. Yeah. He's like, it's okay. What's his name? <laughs> like, I uh, I don't know. We haven't named him yet either, so I don't, we're like working on it. <laughs> he's um, seven years old. Yeah, <laughs> he's a rescue from today. <laughs> but I, they, on the chart, it said he doesn't do this. So yeah, so we, we gotta go. We didn't have to worry about that mechanics. <laughs> Shaq's a good name. You can. Shaq's a good name. Shaq's for a great name for a big black lab. Was it a black lab? He was a black yeah, lab. Shaq's a great name for a big black feller. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I actually, had a big black look, feller myself, look, I'd look, name him Shaq. I'm going to defend this as well. It defend was it. not racist. Just a big fan of Diesel. Okay. Shaq D. It's like my favorite NBA player. Hell yeah. Shaq Diesel, dude. Fuck Kobe Bryant. Also, rapist. He, well. Not pedophile. He, no, he beat the case. He did beat the case. That was, was the, that was the inf- <laughs> that was innocent. that was the infamous slut ruling. That was the a judge slut was ruling. like, "Wait, you had sex the day before? Gross! D- dismissed." Yeah, yeah. They're like, "We found other people's semen in your pussy." <laughs> this guy's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damn. yeah. The, the, slu- the slut ruling is pretty fucking hilarious. Landmark case. Roethlisberger got released twice on two different slut rulings. Really? They're like, "Well, what were you wearing?" <laughs> there was like a pin. She was on like a bachelor bachelorette yeah. party that said like just DTF. A, yeah. There's a rapist like, that's like, uh, hey man, can I get some of your cum? I got uh, like a drug test. <laughs> <laughs> I just need it. I like need a it for fake the, dick for a piss yeah, test. Yeah, I just I need it for like a cum. drug test. And then when you go do the rape, you just squirt a little, uh, you know, extra in there. It's actually, and it's then actually you're like, like your honor, really let's dangerous test way the pussy that. for <laughs> extra cum. Yeah, but doesn't, doesn't cum, isn't cum like coconut oil? It gets like solid after like a certain room temperature. Definitely. Yeah. It'll probably congeal up on it. jizz and not shower. True. You just exactly. lay in your bed too long after you yeah. cum. You just gotta, you yeah. just turn into like an 80 year old. You're like, ah, you're trying to move around <laughs> your skin like, breaks. I let it, I, I've been letting my cum solidify around my legs for years <laughs> <laughs> to add weight to my legs. <laughs> Because I've always been insecure about my thin legs, so I've, <laughs> I've got probably about about 15 years of dried cum. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she like Jack's arms and yeah. just dried cum. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no one notices. It's weird. <laughs> They're like, this look like normal legs. I don't get warm, warm it when it smells. Me. There's a secret. <laughs> Nothing That's worse, cum. dude. When you're at the mall and you're in like some nice cargo shorts, you notice dried cum on your calf, and you're like, oh, God damn it. You're like, uh-huh. you scrape that off. <laughs> you're eating calves? What are you doing on the calf? It's a shower beat. Classic oh, you're shower beat. In the sh- you're standing. I forgot you stand and jerk. Yeah, that's a classic shower beat. Don't, don't tread on me, man. Don't you don't dare fucking. <laughs> do not tread on me. Dude. <laughs> standing, standing and jerking off to me is one of the oddest. Mm-hmm. I think it's just crazy. Really? Well, I if just... you had finished at West Point, you would understand. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't make it to the final year, a lot of, you lot of bunk st- bed. A lot of bunk bed jerking <laughs> off there. Uh, that's what this, that's what this tat's all about. Getting like getting caught jerking off and like defending my territory. Like get out! I'm fucking not done. <laughs> I have a right. I just think catching catching a standing jerk off would be mm. the funniest thing. It's so funny to open a door and see a dude just standing in the middle of his room. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. tread on me is like a thing like a loser fucking stepdad would say. Anyways, <laughs> it's like not a good motto for the country. Is like I I, I you know I I could show them who's boss. Gets me fired up every time I see another yeah. flag. I'm like, hell yeah, dude! Don't fucking tread on me. That and the no. c- the cannon one that it says, comes "Come up, take it." Because you would just do it. You know what I mean? What's that? If you like were actually about your shit, you wouldn't. You'd be like, go ahead, tread on me. See what the fuck happens. <laughs> ah, dude. That's what yeah. the cannon. I one. wish that was what the original. That's what the cannon one is. I wish it and would. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, the snake. Nah. The original. I wish it and would. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, the trick of it is is not know anything about history. I'm like, damn, it looks cool as fuck, yeah. dude. That's well, now yeah. I want a tattoo of the snake that says I wish. It's <laughs> actually. This is a gas and flag. That's actually exactly like what they were trying to say. I know. Well, but it's perfect. But it's better. The it's so much better when you do it racist. Well, what are they trying to say? It's not even racist. It's just cool. What? Don't yeah. tread on me? 
Well, don't actually, tread on me, except I wish you would. Sick. Uh, Same thing, dude. That's just the closest those guys, like, you know, they're wearing wigs yeah. and shit. Could get I'm all about that. Yeah. I'm all about the original 13 colonies getting stoked on. Love it, like, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't really know what happened during that time period, but the illustrations are cool as fuck, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that segmented snake. Yeah. That's right. yeah That's it's crazy was. that they all, like, dress like that. And, like, you know, <laughs> like, if you saw a guy dress like that, you'd be like, I got to get the fuck out of Williamsburg. You know, like, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, with this guy's probably on, like, nine different hormone therapies, you know. They, I mean, it would just, they, you would not think highly of him. But what, then, dressing in colonial garb? Those colonial guys. But then at the time... Those colonial guys. The, at the time, you know, they would be like, oh, well, you disrespected me, so we're going to shoot each other in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. We're not even going to fight about it. We're going to point guns at each other's faces. Yeah, duels were had. Yeah. Duels were had, and every nobody... The they, president would duel people. Jackson yeah. and yeah. AJ. Jackson had a Burr. couple of duels. Who? Burr. Yeah. Who's Burr? Burr shot uh, Hamilton, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he die? Did he get yeah. to become president after that? No, I don't... No. Hamilton, no. No, you get to, he become, was like the you treachery. Get to become Burr. <laughs> Burr shot so that then he motherfucker. Become, the guy that killed him becomes Aaron Burr. <laughs> Aaron Burr. <laughs> That's how it works. That's colonial law. It is. Mm -hmm. Those duels, dude, everybody, they survived, most of them. Because yeah. those pistols sucked. Yeah. That's why it was such like a common thing. Like you would be like, let's fucking duel. Yeah. One of us is going to get like hurt. It was like a one pump BB it. gun fight. It was like a BB gun fight. Yeah. So think about that. Pretty it would tight. be cool to go back in time with like a, you know, like a, like a 45 or something. 45. So the AR-15 yeah. would be king. <laughs> and Actually, you, and then you, you just like go around like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to duel? <laughs> we can duel right oh, excuse now. Excuse me. And he's putting the, the powder and his stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, Beauty and the Beast gun. You could you go to Max Payne like slow time. Yeah, that would be awesome. I don't know. What's man. that? If you had the oh. proper weaponry, he what said that? something. I don't know. What, what happened? The fuck did you say, dude? I thought he had a contribution. Some guy on Craigslist oh. actually threatened me with a forty-five today. Really. He spelled it dessert is yeah. desert. He's is like, these posts are for gay guys only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not beating off with a straight guy. <laughs> no, my, my brother was trying to buy a skateboard off this guy. And my brother, <laughs> he was like, wait, wait, which Billy? Tom. Tom's buying was, a He skateboard? was buying it for his kid. Oh, all right. But he's, it was two alien workshops for 20 bucks. My brother Sick. texted him and the guy just replied, F-O-H. No, no not Billy. <laughs> not Billy. Not the Kenworth kid. The, uh, you know, Tom was like, let me buy these. And the guy was like, fuck out of here, dude. So I'm like, I texted him. I wanted to get in on it. And I'm like, yo, bro, what's up with those boards? He's like, you seem like a fucking joker, dude. Get lost. Whoa. I was like, dude, you own fucking skateboards, you loser. And he's like, I have a Desert Eagle here, too. What do you want to do? <laughs> I was like, oh. I have the text on my phone. Wow. But he spelled it Desert Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a Desert Eagle. <laughs> So I'm worried. I'm kind of worried. So about is that he right trying now. to sell the skateboards? No, or not? no. I don't know. <laughs> he, he called my brother up today and was like, "Yo, it's good, dude." My brother oh, was like, back. "Yo, what the fuck, dude? You threatened my it's life." The art he's of like, the deal. You want the skateboard or not? It's the art of the deal, is, dude. dude. You got to fucking lead with a gun, gun threat, and then day two, you're like, "How do you feel about these skateboards now that I've threatened your brother's life?" <laughs> this guy, what a great negotiator. That's a good dude, way, dude. He's on Craigslist just threatening people. He's with like, what'd you threats. say to me? What'd you <laughs> he just points a gun my, at someone my else. My brother called him back, and apparently he has like a voice mixer. So he started doing demonic screams. My brother called him. <laughs> he's going, ah! <laughs> Spooky, dude. Wait, you, who, your brother? Tom, he called my brother back and was just like, do you want this skateboard or not? My brother's like, dude, you said you were going to fucking kill me earlier. And he was like, do you want it? And they, he called him, and he's going, ah! And he's like, all right, dude, fuck Your this. brother was doing the spooky stuff? No, the, the guy, guy was doing... Oh, this guy spooky. rules. This guy's awesome. <laughs> I skateboard, I have firearms, and I got a spooky voice machine. That's my what deal. What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> he's hitting you up on Craigslist? Yeah. This guy rules. I might go check him out. Yeah. You're just gonna, have a showdown, you're gonna dude. see another you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be you on the other end. I'm a dessert eagle, dude. <laughs> Come fuck with me. I wonder if he saw that and was like, fuck. <laughs> as soon as he sent it, he was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. It was just asterisk. I can't correct it. He just asterisk <laughs> yeah, desert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell, yeah. That was a good cast. Was a very yeah, intimate yeah, yeah. cast. Yeah, yeah nine I think we're six. getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, that was my day. And then I fucking, <laughs> on the Patreon, <laughs> I attacked that, uh, that whatchamacallit. He was, he was a, the guy was a fucking bullshit, dude. He was a, um, whatchamacallit, what was it, an antique dealer. 
Oh. I checked him on the, how old his shit was. I'm like, it's 100 years old, right? He was like, ah. I'm like, that's bullshit, dude. Take that down now. You made him take it down? I started. I basically told him, I'm like, dude, you can't. I'm trying to clean this up, dude. This, and then, you know, he told me to flag it. And I was like, what'd you say to me, dude? It just, it just <laughs> came out. It was pretty fun. Yeah, he, Matt, Matt calls people on Craigslist and fights them. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. nice. <laughs> I do it for Patreon. It's, it's pretty, pretty sick. Fun. What antique? What antique dealer? This guy was selling a fucking coat rack. It was bullshit. He was like, it was in the antique section in Craigslist, and I was like, "Yo, is this a hundred years old? If not, you have to take it down under antique law. <laughs> antique law is one hundred years." I'm like, maybe in forty years you'll qualify. And he's like, "Come on, dude, are you seriously doing?" <laughs> he's like, he's like the railroad spikes. He's like, they, they might be a hundred years old. I'm like, now, now I think something's missing from the skateboard story. Yo, look, Lewis, Lewis is walking in with a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was him. <laughs> what a uh, yeah. fucking idiot, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I skateboarded down here. <laughs> No, the skateboard story, I swear to God, the guy was just a nut. Yeah. I think he was just fucked. There's a lot of people on drugs selling shit on Craigslist. I think he just falls into that category. They should have a category for that. Yeah. Hi, now, need money. <laughs> <laughs> no, now if you go, ran, they took off Rants and Rays and they took off the personals, so now they have Craigslist community. <laughs> and it's just dudes like looking for a short arm top. <laughs> looking for what? A short arm top. A short arm top is a guy <laughs> under six, like under six inches. If you just want like a quick, like pleasant plug. Just like a nice, like no frills plug in the butt, you get a short arm top. That's a cool. That would be like a like a nickname from the Sting. <laughs> <laughs> I might get that covered up. The short arm top. Yeah, yeah. here. Short arm top. If you request a, if you request a short arm top, it's just, and then it's just people under that being like, "Dude, this is a trap. Don't do it." It's like, "No, nah, I just He's got a huge dick. <laughs> don't do it." <laughs> I've fell for this before. It hurts. They <laughs> try to pull off all like the like the underground gay sex off Craigslist, and it came in a community <laughs> section. <now. laughs> <laughs> just like I'll tell you what about these debates, and it's like looking to suck someone on my lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> the underground gay community on Craigslist is so fucking funny, dude. dude. Just a hive of gross shit. <laughs> it's great, and they you tried could, to rid it, and they came back. That's dude, wonderful. It came back full. full. The short arm tops, my favorite thing. Right short now. arm tops mm. is an awesome. I mean, thing to we've say. talked about it before. Tops are a rarity in the gay community. It's eighty percent bottom. So if you're a short arm top, mm. it's perfect. You're a fuck, yeah, dude. Just because you're rare. Exactly. You're a left-handed pitcher. Nice. The, 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 it's a commodity. Yeah. I'm a scarcity. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, dude. I'm, it, it's comforting. It's nice for me to know at any time I can just like hit Craigslist as a short arm top and just blow up. I'll make a hot chick on Tinder. Just blow up, dude. My inbox is full that day. That's what's up, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah, man. Are you a short arm top? For in sure. real life, for yeah, sure. I think I am too. For, actually, I'm like I would show up as a short arm top, and they'd be like, "Whoa, dude, you're kind of pushing it, bro. <laughs> 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 you're literally right on the edge of the cutoff." Yeah. <laughs> we can deal with your lack of girth, though. I'm like, all right. You have a lack of girth. It's all right. <laughs> when I got the, when I got the manhood Canada's, I th I was just like, give me the smallest one, obviously. And it oh, you got out. long nails. I forgot you got fucking long <laughs> fingernails right now. Oh yeah, dude. Well, I'm not allowed to cut them, apparently. <laughs> Why are you allowed to cut your nails? Because I have this, like, it's, like, growing up and in. fucking long fingernails. <laughs> it's growing up and in, so I was told not to cut it, because, like, apparently if the nail gets, like, jacked up, it gets infected, so, like, grow it out. So my nails are long as fuck, dude. Well, you're I, growing out every single fingernail, yeah. because... Well, I don't like having one that's not cut. Actually, that'd be tight. I could fucking... Yeah, no, I could do cool. designer drugs off of I it. knew a guy that grew out his pinky... Yeah, it's coke now. But it wasn't. I, you know, he worked, oh, at, it's a he worked at the White House. Then it was a blood... <laughs> That's a, it's either a coke nail or people use blunt splitting nails. Yeah, no, I was like, are you doing cocaine? He's like, no, nah, I just thought it was tight. It is tight. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I just oh, he saw cool guys have it. Yeah, yeah. And then he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's a, uh, I don't know. It's something about, dude, if, if I see a guy with long fingernails, mm -hmm. don't like it. Instantly, instantly. <laughs> Howard like, Hughes, out. Does Howard Hughes have him? Well, he went crazy and he grew his finger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had OCD. The, yeah, the You guys both have, like, kind of nice... Eh, I got, got nice the, nails, we got, the same nail, we got the same nail bed. Oh, yeah. Shane has, like, nice I long nail beds. beautiful, very You have, like, feminine. manicured nails, dude. I have effeminate nails, A lot dude. of biotin. Yeah, a ton of biotin. A lot of biotin. I love biotin. Yep. A lot of phyto, we, phytonutrients. That's all I have is phytonutrients. Yeah, mm -hmm. mine are, like, just designed to just, like, dig in the dirt. It's like my epigenetics. Cut my nail your fucking nails. My nail, <laughs> <laughs> my nail bed has been pushed in from like thousands of years. Of people like shitty fucking Irish people just digging mm -hmm. for potatoes. This is royalty, dog. I know. <laughs> Get that long nail bed. I'm jealous. 
Yeah, we should wrap this up. We're yeah, we're done. Nails. Uh, let's all let's all see your guys' nail beds. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, great. Sick. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for participating, you yeah, guys. Dude, that was great. Fuck Short arm top you. signing out, dude. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks Mullen, for having me. You're the man. Uh, it's a thanks to you guys for showing. This is yeah, the first seriously. podcast here. Yes, dude. Legion of Skanks. Legion of Skanks can suck our dick, dude. Matt and Shane Seeker podcast was the first podcast at this fucking place. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Fuck Luis Gomez. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you.